Meanwhile, just five days until the season finale of Showtime's Dexter. The show's wrapping up after eight seasons, and you know what? Maybe it's time for a little change of scenery for its star, Michael C. Hall. He put his Hollywood Hills home on the market, and tonight, we're taking you inside. This is one of those iconic Hollywood homes. It's been owned by great celebrities, Ronald Coleman back in the day, the George Clooney of his day, and now, you know, Michael C. Hall. It's Dexter's Digs to Die For, a killer courtyard, backyard pond, and old school Hollywood style. This home is approximately 4,600 square feet and approximately 14,000 square feet on the lot size. Real Housewife star Maurizio Umansky from the agency and colleague Josh Myler showing us around the five-bedroom pad. Well, this is really, truly magical, man. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. yeah. So this room was also one of Michael's favorite things about it. Look how wide and open it is. Behind us, you have these beautiful, gigantic windows that allows light to just flood in through. Down the hall to the dining room. Again, gigantic windows, light flooding in. I mean, this is a, a table for a king. And if you lean back far enough in your throne, you can almost reach the wine cellar. And take two steps from the dining room table, grab another bottle and keep entertaining. Of course, living like Hollywood royalty will cost you 2.35 million to be exact, but the iconic view, priceless. And look at this deck. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, amazing. You get a view of the Hollywood sign. You do. Right outside your deck. How cool Old is that? Hollywood charm. Sweet pad. And you know, yeah. by the way, the big question for Dexter fans, will he get caught in the finale? Well, Michael C. Hall says that the writers have actually known from the very beginning how they were going to end this. So, of course, we're all going to find out finally on Sunday Can't night. Wait.